Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, a Sin City Preacher. I'm going to ask you to use your imagination for a moment. You're in a body of water. And the water is deep. You tread the water for as long as you can. But you're getting tired and weak. You make it to a shore, but the shore is sloped and slippery, and you can't get up the shore onto the land. First, you, you try to get up all on your own, and it just, you struggle and struggle and keep slipping down, no matter how hard you work at it, you keep slipping back into the water. The harder you try to work your way up onto that land, the slippery the slope is, and you finally realize it's futile. And as you get weaker and tired, or you, you see somebody on the, on the land, and they, they are reaching out their arm to grab you and help you up, lift you up. The person you see has a, a book in their hand and as you focus in on it you see that he's holding the Quran and he reaches out his arm to you and you realize it's it's Muhammad and you 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 reach out to grab his hand but it has no substance it's an illusion and you can't grab it it's futile. It's of no good to you. You realize that he cannot lift you up onto safety. You see someone else and they're holding up a book and you look at it and you see that it's, it says the Book of Mormon. And you realize that is Joseph Smith. He's reaching out his hand and you try to grab his hand, and again, it's, there's no substance. He's only an illusion, and he can't save you. He cannot lift you up on to the shore. You see, another man, you realize this, this is Buddha. And he's extending his hand to you, and you reach and you tr you try to get a hold of him, but but again, you cannot grasp him because he's only an illusion. There is no substance there, and you understand that none of these religious leaders can pull you up onto safety, and you cannot climb up that slippery slope based on your own efforts. The harder you work at it, the more you slip down and you're getting tired and weak. And you realize it's hopeless. Your situation is helpless. And you see another book. And it's the Holy Bible. There's a man holding the Bible. And you, you see, the one holding the Bible is extending his hand. But there's holes in his hand. He has nail marks in his hands. He reaches out his hand to, so he could pull you up to safety. Again, you reach out to grab his hand so you can be lifted up onto the shore. And when your hands meet, he grabs you securely. He lifts you up onto the shore, onto a solid rock. And he tells you, now that he's got a hold of you, now that he's saved you and pulled you up onto this 
solid rock and you are secure and safe and you're saved. He says, I'm never going to let go of you. I will never leave you or forsake you. And you know who he is. His name is Jesus Christ. He is God made flesh. God who became a man. Jesus Christ, the one who died for all of our sins. The one who was raised from the dead. The one who has power over life and death. And he has given you life. He saved your life. And now <laughs> you are secure. You have eternal life because you trusted the only one who could truly save you. Our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.